Okay. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today, cleaning carbon ceramic brakes and satin finish wheels on the um, on the Grey Peril, the M4 CS, which <clears throat> I know some of you are going to say we're washing it today. Some of you are going to say, John, it's already spotlessly keen. No, <laughs> it's covered in bugs um, <clears throat> and it's very dirty, but it just doesn't show the dirt on camera that well. Um, but I've had it for a, probably about a month and not washed it since I got it and it was clean. I did just a quick rinse over it before I did the reveal. Anyway, let's go on with this. What do you need to clean these alloys? Well, it's quite simple. Let me show you. We have the pressure washer turned on here. Don't worry about what that is. That's to do with this. We'll explain in a second. Now, you need your pressure washer. So we'll just make sure that's on. Oh, we'll just make sure that's on. Firing off. There we go. Uh, just want to make sure it's got all the water running through it. Um, and you need your all your different brushes. So I always have this EZ brush with a stiff arm for doing the arch. It's a great arch. You need that strength, you know, to be able to get in there and just work the brush and not bash and clatter against stuff. That's why it's nice to have this on both sides. So it's really good. You just work it in little circles like that and it lasts forever. So that's a really important brush for me. Now, the next problem we've got on this particular alloy is there is nothing on God's earth that's gonna get behind this gap here. It, the gap is minuscule, no brush, not even this, um, where's the little mini? We go back over here. I thought, no, I've got up there, I've got an EZ brush. Even that won't get in there and it gets wedged in here. Now, I went and bought this long version of the wheel woolly thinking this will be the only thing that will fit in here. And this, even this, can't get underneath the metal shield here. So even this thing can't fit. It can fit up here, and that's all right until you get down to here. There, and I can't get in. So this has tiny, tiny clearance. So what I've had to do is my missus, it's got one of these long dusters it's got that thing on it and with the micro fiber madness in credit brush which you can just see the handle of there in the background <laughs> you get this spare little cover which goes on you can see how dirty the the alloy is even though it looks pretty clean um this is the only thing that i think i can find that gets in there and even this struggles but it gets in there and it goes all the way to the edge it just about gets under, but only just. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's literally the only thing. I'm speaking to my patrons and they're aware of the problem, guys with the performance cars with the low clearance. And they, they said, you have to wrap a microfiber cloth around a ruler, because that's the flattest thing you can get. So there's definitely a gap in the market, isn't there? Because people with performance cars, I think like cleaning them properly as well. And, Professional detail is going to be cleaning lots of performance cars. That's part of your bread and butter, isn't it? And there isn't, doesn't appear to be a solution. So if any detailing companies are watching, can you make a mega flat brush that's at least, you know, say 10 inches, maybe even longer, about 12 inches of material that's even flatter than that. So less than an inch flat, so it's like half an inch centimeter or something to get into these tight alloy wheels that would be amazing okay now how should you go about cleaning carbon ceramic alloy wheels now the thing is the composition of these brake discs and brake pads are different on carbon ceramics and i don't know much about the composition of them other than i assume that there's either little steel or no steel or very little ferrous components in the making of them i'd assume um, let me know and more ceramic material so there'd be a different composition that's harder um, so you get less steel based or ferrous based um, deposits so i don't think using 
fallout removers is gonna be a particularly good idea. While we're here, though, let's just grab one. Let's just grab one. Um, fallout, here we go. And see if this lights up. I just spray straight onto this film of dirt, which, John, they're clean. No, they're not, okay? So, oh, I haven't used this new nozzle. I put the Tolco nozzles on them. Here we go. Let's just see what that does. So, I'm assuming that the best way to clean these is no use of fallout removers because there's not going to be much ferrous in there and just use a normal detergent so in there i've got about 10 p's worth of surfex hd you know about one to ten i've got a squirt of surfex hd in the bucket and i've got some citrus there as well which is always quite nice um and yeah this isn't the brake dust isn't lighting up at all so now should you just blast these first with water and just blast off any loose kind of dirt um probably yeah i mean i'm in the garage we could do that but what i want to do is just soak the dirt out with detergent rather than just soak it out with water so you could do it if, if they're really dirty you know and they haven't been cleaned for ages and just using the pressure to blast off any stuff on the surface might be a good idea but with how these are i've just got quite a thin loose layer of dust so i'm just going to cover them in the surfex hd and let it soak out and you could or you could pre-wash them first as well now in winter as you sw switch over your process in winter pre-wash the entire car and the brakes and you can rinse off and not have to worry about sort of water spots because it's all nice and cool and, and cold. So you can tweak that however you like. So let's put the surfex in the arches. I need to pump this a bit more. This is an IK Foma 2. They're okay. They're all right. Um, let's go. So look quite good. Oh. Oh, I'm looking at the camera, squirted myself, got a bit too excited. All right, get a nice amount of foam in there. And you can use a sprayer if you don't think the foam is adding any value. Funny enough, the Surfex foams up quite nicely in these in these IK foamers as they come out the box without having to play around with them. So let's just come back a little bit and let's do the wheel. <laughs> let's get loads in the middle now. Oh, dodgy camera work. You know, and that's probably enough. It's more than enough, you know, soap. I'm just gonna do, what I'll do is I'll just pop plunk a bit of citrus to get in that barrel that wets it out a little bit that's fine so now we've got plenty of um stuff now really you just want this to soak for a little bit Let's get a bit more over the caliper as well um but we're going to go straight in and clean this now like i said if you pressure wash this off after five minutes, you would pressure wash quite a lot of the dirt off. And you could say, well, you're minimizing, you're minimizing the scratching. Yes, you are. But I'm just gonna clean them. Because <laughs> that's what I want to do. Um, all right, so let's get in and do this first. Give this a nice good scrub. Always like the plastic in the arches to look clean. That's the first thing that gets dirty again. Scrub there. And I really like to get under this lip. Okay. Such a good brush, this. Just wish it had a slightly longer handle because you can't get right the way in. You can see all the dirtying and browning of the, the surface as the 
chemicals do that thing. All right, that's clean enough. So that brush can go back in there. Now we'll move on to the barrel. We'll start in there. Well, let's dip this in. All right. So that's kind of okay. It's not ideal, this. Let's try, I've got like this long stick here. But it's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be the same if I'm using a ruler. I need to sort something out and try and make something. Steal this off the missus and cut this into a proper little brush. Put a handle on the end of it because it is quite good. It's the only thing that gets in there. It struggles a little bit here, but it's still getting underneath it. And of course, there we go. Um, and I can't do anything about this bit. So I'm kind of done with, with this brush now. Now the next thing, um, what's the next best brush to use? Now up here I've got these woolly things from, um, who makes these? Duca, they're high quality, but I just find one of them goes on your fingertips like a little mini glove and one of them's just a little pad. They don't get enough sort of purchase into all the little tight areas. So I normally just go with a brush or something like that where I can get it on my hand and push through with my fingers, something a little bit thinner. So, you know, you just need to get into that rim there and get all that dust out. This hog's hair brush is doing a half decent job. Behind it, lots of clunking and twatting. That's a new word. Right, and then probably, let's put this thing on the hand. A wet fish. And this just allows me, put my thumb there, to wrap around the spoke. Really go around and just clean each spoke one at a time. Get behind it. Which is decent, actually. I might try that little glove that you can buy at Halfords, because I think... Having the glove on would be quite good for this, but this is doing the job. That's how long it takes to, to do this properly. Okay, I think that's all the spokes. And we'll just go back to the hogs there. And we'll get in there, clean this caliper. This looks pretty clean to me, but we'll clean it anyway. get in there we'll try and clean this bit as well There's no corrosion on any of this which is really nice so I'm actually cleaning the hub which I never normally do just to keep it all good so nice to have brakes that aren't all kind of rotten with rust and we'll give the bolts a little clean and then really, all we've got left to do is the tire. So let's just put a bit more citrus <coughs> on the tire. And we'll grab this one. It's a very gentle brush, this. And you can use it for the face. It's all, it's probably not gonna scratch, but this is, this is a, you know, this is a sensitive satin finish. There's a Will Willys boar's hair version of this, but it's about 22 quid. I might give it a try and just buy it and I can do a review on the channel and that'll probably pay for it. But I have a feeling that this would probably be fine on here. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's gonna scratch when I just try it on there. So I would, I would probably happily use this on, on this alloy. Um, it doesn't scrub these tires too much. You probably, got, you guys are gonna wanna see a bit more foam, aren't you? You're gonna see a bit, wanna see a bit more foamage. So let's put some foam on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. So let's go in and scrub this up. These tires are pretty clean. Michelin Pilot Super Sports 4. They're Pilot, 
I like the Sport 4s, 4Ss even. I don't, know, I don't know if they have the star on them. They're the BMW ones or not, I don't know. They're good though. That much I do know. Right. So now, we're ready to rinse off. Forgive the dodgy camera work. Let's take our gun. This is a bit where I get soaked. I'm going to just come back a bit for purposes of filming because I don't want to get my camera soaking wet. And we just rinse all this out. So let's go. some point in your wash process after you've washed the car or whatever you've got to dry this off and the easiest way to do this I find especially with wheels I need to charge these up is a blower so let's just make sure see if I've got a battery with power yeah that one that one's got some power so let's pop that in get in there right that's loaded and then I'll take the old blower and blow dry this at the end. Pretty dry. Uh, you could towel dry it, whatever you want. Um, it's still dripping more water, so it need a bit more. It still need a bit more blowage. That is probably how I'm going to clean these. Um, yeah, they're really clean. <laughs> so ceramic brakes are supposed to be really easy to maintain. Uh, even that crappy brush. Probably have I missed a bit. No, it's good. It's pretty clean. So, um, yeah, no need for any real other chemicals other than simple detergent, it seems like. Um, and they've done, done quite a few miles in this car as well. So the positives of ceramic brakes is you don't need to do anything clever. Perhaps use softer brushes because there doesn't seem to be that embedded, you know, steel material that really bites into the alloy. And if you leave it, it embeds and you need to use strong acid. So I think if you keep on top of your ceramics, you could just use a very cheap detergent like Surfex HD and soft brushes. And uh, obviously you want to do it a lot quicker than I've done it. Um, you want to be cleaning this alloy, you know, in, in, in about sort of one to two minutes, don't you? Because you've got the whole car to do and I like to have it all washed within, you know, an hour, something like that. I don't like to spend four five hours cleaning the car personally so you know every now and then maybe but not at the moment <laughs> so guys thank you very much for watching let me know if you've got any comments on this if you've got any knowledge of what's in the ceramic composition that'd be great because I don't have that knowledge and I love learning from some of you guys what's in the ceramic discs and what's in the ceramic brake pads that makes them easier to maintain is it the lack of steel it must be some sort of metal in there, surely. <laughs> Can't just all be ceramic material. So what is it? That's what I want to know. Um, I'll put as many of the tools as I've used in the description. Um, as always, it's where the stubby gun comes in really, really handy for cleaning the alloys. As opposed to the sort of standard long gun. You imagine trying to use that to clean the alloys. It's all right if you're standing back and just blasting over it, but when you're really intensively cleaning it, you want to get the handgun in there. So the handgun's better, I think. There we go. I'll list it all in the description. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, we're going to be doing lots of videos on this car, uh, cleaning it, 
um, all the different parts of it. And then finally, eventually getting the paintwork all uh, polished up and looking really good. The key thing though is I didn't buy this car to spend my life washing it. I bought my, this car to enjoy it. And um, I can get into a mindset where the, where I get the car clean and I don't want to drive it. <laughs> in which case I'm probably better off just buying a little model car or something and staring at that, having it inside all nice and clean. So this car's gonna get dirty, its condition is gonna deteriorate over time, it's gonna get stone chips, it's gonna get little dinks and dents, things are gonna get worn, uh, it's not gonna stay perfect. So the key is to make detailing add to your enjoyment of the car. You know, enjoy it rather than make it um, something which can become a negative thing, which was, it's a problem I have. Um, you know, detailing should make your enjoyment of the car more, but you shouldn't feel a pressure to keep the car always clean. You should just look forward to doing it and enjoy doing it and enjoy trying new products, changing your technique, trying new things. Let me know if you know of any solutions on the brushes as well. You know, we've, I've brainstormed it with my patrons, but you know, beyond that little stick thing, which is, is too wide, you can see that is like not much wider than my thumb and that's too wide. So it's gotta be mega thin. If you know of a mega thin brush, preferably not nylon, let me know in the comments. Um, or if you're a detailing company <laughs> and you're watching, go make one, like a little blade, like a ruler with a microfiber wrapped around it, like that, but even thinner, even thinner and even stiffer and nice and rigid so you can get it in there like a little plank. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you also, um, new to the channel, come and join us on the Patreon community, which is phenomenal. A private community where you're not going to get shot down if you just discovered detailing and you, you've got these questions and you ask them on public forums, you'll get some smart ass will come in and shut you down or tell you to go search for it. Well, it's a friendly community, so if you're new, it's a great place to come and um, join the other patrons in the community tab and also you've got, you can message me at any time and I answer the patron messages as soon as I can get to know a lot of my patrons uh, which is great there's also different tierings for contests rewards and early viewing getting your name in the credits and all that sort of thing so check out the different tierings and also if you're new to detailing check out my detailing fundamentals course which will get you from either a kind of someone that's completely new to detailing or has been taking pride in cleaning their car well but just discovered this detailing world and you want to you want to know how to machine polish your car decontaminate it properly wash it safely how to do the tackle the interior properly we cover all the fundamentals from start to finish um, so check out my detailing fundamentals course all of the information on everything i've talked about in this video is in the description take care and uh, i have no idea how long this video is but it's going to be a long one that's all right though it's good See you soon.